VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Let's first find out where your audience comes from. Click on your YouTube profile image and then go to the new creator studio. From here, click on analytics and then click on the audience tab at the top of the screen. Below the graphs, you should see a top countries panel showing you where in the world your audience watches from. With this information, you can start to translate videos into that country's native language. To do this, go to the video section of the Creator Studio. On each video in this list, you will see an edit button that will take you to that video's details page. Now, down the left hand side, you will see a subtitle section. Click it and this will show you all of the current subtitles and translations for this video. Since we already know 4.5% of our audience is in the Philippines, let's do that language translation. Click the Add Language button and use the drop down to select the language you want to translate into. Now this language has been created, click Add under the Title and Description column. A pop-up box will now display showing the video's original language for the video title and description and an empty box for your translations. And this is where where we insert a little magic. Once you have vidIQ installed, you will see this translate button that with a single click will translate both the video title and description into your chosen language. Make any edits to the text you need to and then click the publish button so that now when viewers use YouTube in that language, your title and description will be correctly translated for them. If you want to translate video tags, you can do that too. Go to the details section for the video and then scroll down until you see all of your tags for that video. Again, with vidIQ installed, you will see a translate button that allows you to choose a language to translate all of your existing tags into as quickly and as efficiently as you've just seen. There is a caveat with video tags, however, in that irrespective of language, tags share the same tag space on YouTube. So you can't have a set of English tags and a set of Filipino tags. They are all lumped together and with 500 characters to play with, that's not much room. Hello folks, I'm Rob and welcome back to vidIQ, the YouTube tool channel and Academy that educates you on your YouTube journey. For all of the latest YouTube tips, tricks and advice, make sure to subscribe to the channel and do this so that you're the first to be notified when we release brand new content and new tools just like this. Our translation tool is just the tip of the vidIQ iceberg that will let you research YouTube, analyze every single video on the platform, audit your own channel and take actionable steps such as the translation tool that will help grow your channel. It is free to download, there is a link in the video description. The next question you may be asking is, what about complete subtitle translations for your entire video? Great idea, if you want us to do it, let us know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. Challenge with subtitle translation is that first of all, the AI needs to listen to you in your native language and translate that into text, which isn't always perfect. And then it needs to take all of that text and turn it into a new language. And by the time you've gone through all of that process, the translations can be a little wonky. The best option available to you right now is to use a professional service such as rev.com. This is not a sponsored video or anything. We use rev.com to transcribe our videos for English subtitles and they also convert those transcriptions into other languages. Can be pricey and this is for larger channels who are getting millions of views a month and they have a large audience in other languages. When you're talking about four or five percent of people watching in France, Spain or Italy, that can add up to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views for those types of channels. Or if you want to go even further, you can do this. Como creadores de videos cometemos errores en nuestro viaje por YouTube y aquí tenemos algunos. Oh sí, ese es un gran ejemplo. Here I am speaking Spanish. I have to be honest with you, I have no idea what Spanish I'm speaking right now because I don't speak Spanish myself. But the guys at Unilingo do. They take your channel and translate the whole thing into a brand new channel with everything, including your voice, translated perfectly into that language. That's why we call this channel vidIQ en Español. When you can provide audio in a new language, it takes translation to the next level. Over the last year, we have been creating and translating content that will provide real value to our Spanish-speaking vidIQ audience. And just like any channel, it has required a lot of hard work and a lot of patience. But just like any channel that does the right things consistently, YouTube will begin to reward you with more views, more subscribers, more exposure. So as your channel begins to grow and your audience starts to widen, 
Think about the languages that those people speak and how you can help them with your content. If you want to learn more about the vidIQ tools we have to offer you to help you grow your channel, check out the playlist over here. Enjoy the rest of your video making day and we'll see you all again very soon.